Today I have this monochrome e-paper display from Siege Studio and I use ChatGPT to program this beautiful dashboard that shows data from Home Assistant. Now this device is powered with an ESP32 C3 and has a built-in 2000 mAh battery. The case is 3D printed and assembled together and it has this kickstand to keep the display upright. You can program this display using ESP Home, Arduino IDE and you can use the cloud services from Terminal. Now I have created this dashboard to show the states of various sensors and switches from Home Assistant using ESP Home. In ESP Home, I created a new ESP32 C3 device and then used ChatGPT to create this dashboard. It was an iterative process to improve the dashboard layout, but I didn't have to start from scratch. In ESP Home, you have this SPI section to communicate with the e-ink display. Then this section takes care about showing the various elements on the display. We have the font section and then we have the sensors from Home Assistant and the time from Home Assistant. So now this code has been developed using ChatGPT and what you need to do is we need to add these cards here. So this function takes in a few parameters like the position of the card, the name of the card, the state that you want to show like the entity state and the icon that you want to show. Now, how do we get this icon? For this icon, you need to define this here like this light icon and you need to specify this value. Now, this value have to be specified in the font section. So if you see here, it is specified in this glyph section. And to find this value for your icon, visit this URL here and you should be able to get an icon. here. So, for example, if I want an icon from here, I'm going to click here, copy this value from here and then go back to ESP home and I'm going to replace from the F value here and use this value above and use the icon. Now that was now that was about the icon part. Now let's look at the state for the state. We are going to take it from this ID. But where is this ID been defined? This ID is defined in our text sensors here. So if you see here, I have given an ID for a light entity which is present inside Home Assistant. So if I go to Home Assistant from here and go to the developer tools, you should see this here. So let me paste this here and you see this is the entity ID. I copy this, go to ESP Home, paste it in the entity ID and then give it an ID and using this ID, I then take out the state in this variable and paste it in. Now the code is a little complicated and I have added comments to help you out. I'll provide this code in the article that I will link into the description below. But you can always create your own dashboard with the help of AI. I made use of ChatGPT5 thinking model, which is pretty fast and accurate and took less amount of time for me, but it's a paid model. I tried using the free tier from ChatGPT and it gave me older results that no longer work. I also tried using the free tier of Copilot with GPT-40 model, which gave better results as compared to the free ChatGPT model. Now, if you still want to do this without spending any money, then definitely use the Copilot with GPT-40 model. Now, if you're willing to spend some money on customizing the dashboard, you can go for the paid ChatGPT model or use Terminal to create dashboards. For this, you have to buy this license to use the display with Terminal Cloud APIs and then you can make use of some of the pre-built dashboards. Now, Seed Studio has provided a detailed guide on how you can use Terminal with this display. Now, I haven't gone through this path and I wanted to just use this display with Home Assistant as I wanted to keep it completely local. Now, along with this code for this dashboard, I will also provide the ChatGPT prompt, which will help you to create your own dashboards from scratch using ChatGPT. In my next video, we'll be looking at this color e-paper display from Siege Studio. Now, if you like to see such videos, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Till then, I will see you in my next one.